Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at a program called Voice Mod. It's a program that is actually going to change your voice over comms with your teammates and possibly your enemies, depending on what game you're in. Um, but before I wanted to jump into the video today, I just wanted to make sure that everybody here, and if you are watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The majority of you that watch the videos here at Misfit Studios have yet to subscribe, so don't forget to do that. It really helps us out here at the studio. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so voice mod, there is a version that is completely free. Um, there are a few presets that you can do. Um, the majority of the, you know, nitty gritty little tweaks and that kind of thing do come with the pro version. I highly recommend picking that up. It's only 12 bucks for 12 months. Or if you wanted to pay $36, it's actually 36 bucks for an entire lifetime subscription for it. If you wanted to just go ahead and try out the pro version, three months is only $7.50. I'll put a, the uh, link to voice mod down in the description below. On the dashboard, once that you get everything installed and once you open up the program, this is going to be one of the things that you're going to see. You've got a list of favorites that you can add and subtract to. You have got a list of, you know, all voices here that is actually all of the presets that voice mod already loads in for you. Um, you can use those, of course, over on the right side. Um, it looks like I've got deep selected as the default for whatever reason. Um, you can change the pitch, the mix, voice volume. You can change a lot of settings within each individual one of those effects. If you want to add your own, you just go ahead and click create voice. I'm going to actually hit cancel. It's going to tell you to hear yourself and voice changer activate so you can hear what your voice is doing while you're changing a lot of these settings. And actually you can change and add a whole bunch of different ones. That way you can create your own. Now on the soundboard portion of things, we're going to go ahead and click don't save there. Um, if you open up the soundboard, you're going to go ahead and add an audio file. So let's go ahead and just add a silence pistol. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to add a hotkey. So when you're in game and let's say, you know, you, you get an awesome kill and you want the, less, the rest of your team to know about it, all you've got to do is punch in that hotkey and it'll actually play this sound over everybody's comp. So it's basically like playing that sound through your own microphone. Um, really kind of a neat little feature. Um, and then if you go into the settings, you can actually go up to the keybinds, and the keybinds will allow you to um, see what the keybinds are to turn the changer on and off, to heal yourself, to turn the effects on and off. Um, and this program runs completely in the background. Even if you exit out of the window, this will continue to run um, in the background of all your guys' games. So let's go ahead and... Um, figure out how we implement this into different games. First, we're actually going to start off with Valorant. So let's go ahead and boot that one. All right, so we've got Valorant booted. Let's go ahead, go into our settings. We're gonna go into our audio settings, and then of course, voice chat. Now, on the output device, that is gonna be whatever speakers you're gonna use or your headphones, and then of course, the input devices are gonna be your microphones. So let's go ahead and drop down the input device and as you can see at the very top, microphone, voice mod, virtual audio device, WDM. You go ahead and select that one. That is now going to tell Valorant that you want all of your inputs to go through the voice mod app. And it's going to allow you to change all of your voice. Now, let's say that you have a game that you want to use the voice mod app in that you don't have any of these options to change the input device. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close back out of Valorant. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and change a few settings. That way we can have voice mod work with any game out there that allows voice comms. So let's go ahead and open our control panel. We're going to get that open. We're then going to find sound. Click on sound, wait for the sound window to come up, and then click on the recording tab. Now, down at the bottom, you're going to see um, the voice mod virtual audio device. There is a sound wave to the right, so it does look like it is working because we've got voice mod running in the background. And then of course the Yeti microphone that I'm using as a system default. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the voice mod microphone and set as default device. Then we're gonna go ahead and click okay. We're gonna then click out of the control panel. Let's go ahead and boot a game that doesn't have a specific drop down to pick what device you want. All right, now that we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare booted, let's go ahead and go to our options, go to the audio tab. And then we're going to scroll down to the voice chat. And as you can see on the voice chat, you don't have any drop down menus that you can select specific devices with, but you can select the default communication device or the default system device. So what that means is 
since we right clicked on the voice mod and made that the default system device, it will then make Call of Duty run voice mod through all of your comms. It is really that simple. And that's really all there is to it. I know I didn't really go into a lot of detail on what a lot of these sounds sound like. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to run through the huge plethora of sounds that, and effects that they've got on um, voice mod and have fun with it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gohamian here with Misfit Studios. As always, please don't forget to hit that sub button, and we will see you guys next time.